Thanks for tuning in to 3D Prop Studios. What are we up to today? Well, Star Wars. Everybody loves Star Wars. New movie out, Mandalorian. Alright. But, I really liked the helmet. I thought the helmet was really, really cool. The way, you know, the way it's like a chromey look. Absolutely brilliant. So I've decided to build it. So, this is what I'm up to. I'm building the helmet here. The other machine's building the earpieces. But what I want to do, I wanted to talk about how I build it. Now, when I put the file in Cura, I put the full helmet in, and it was like, it was like three days to print this helmet. And I thought, well, that's too much messing about. So what I've done, well, what I do, I, I look at things and I go, well, I need to save time, I need to save, the most important part is, we need to save filament. So, what I've done is, I've sliced the helmet in half, right? The bottom of the helmet, I flipped upside down in the cure settings. And then when it comes into printing, it prints the helmet, no supports in the middle whatsoever. So you're not wasting no filament. And then when I come to print the second part, the dome, the top of the helmet, that's just got a little support in the middle. You're not wasting no supports. You're not wasting material. That's the main thing. So, I right, say so this, this, this helmet's all 3D printed. It's gonna be pretty cool when it's done with its visor in and all that lot. And also, because I like Star Wars, like I said, I look after you fans. Star Wars lightsaber, I'm still working on it. I've still got a bit more sanding and painting, because like I said, this has got to be nice and accurate and nice paint finish when it's done. So this will be going out to D when it's completed. I've done the, the inside and I've done the button. Um, just got to go get some paint for this, and that's finished. But, like I say, it's 3D printing, it's a lot of messing about. This, is, this one's done on a 0.2 layer right. Uh, 60 bed, 200 print. And like I say, I'll always look at a file and work out what's best for me. Because I want to keep the hours down and I want to keep the filament down. So this is what I've done. In the second part of the video, you'll see it all completed, all done. And I'll end up probably giving it away to a winner. I'll end up doing a, a free prize draw or something with it. You know, that's what I like. Uh, but don't forget I'm doing a competition as well for the Modern Warfare game for the PlayStation 4. Links in the description, go check that out. You could be winning that game. That competition runs to the end of this month and I'm going to pick a winner. So good luck on that one. But also what I'll do for you guys as well, the 3D file to this I will put in the link description so you can go get it. So it doesn't cost you anything. Because we don't like spending, we're all tight gets at the end of the day. So that'll be that'll be there. I'll also include the uh, he's, he's gun as well. So I'll put that in the description. Thank me later. I like say it's all free. If you don't about, know, don't know about this site, it's an absolute little gem of a site. Everything's free. There, there is things on there what you have to pay for, but most majority of the time everything's free. And we all love free. So yeah, the Mandalorian element is coming in all right. Um, so it's, we'll see what the helmet's like when it's finished. I'm looking forward to it, so there's going to be a part two to this episode. And uh, I shall catch you all soon. See you on the next episode. Remember, any questions or anything like that, put the link put in the description below. I'll answer you. Take care. See you all soon.